All right, what's going on, everyone? Want to give an update how I'm doing going through the Odin Project. Uh, so it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, since then, I finished Foundations back in September. Overall, Foundations took me almost three and a half months to complete. It was hard, and it probably took me a lot longer than the average person. I'm a little slow, but I finally got it done. Um, built a lot of cool projects and met a lot of cool people through their uh, Discord community. Um, after Foundations, uh, I complete Intermediate HTML and CSS. Um, basically, what you're doing there, you're going to learn a little bit about yeah, learn a little bit more about forms and how to make tables and things like that and learn a little more about advanced selectors, how you can select different things in your projects like child elements and parent elements just to make things more easier and more efficient to style basically. Um, so got the sign up form and admin dashboard done. Both of those were very, very, very challenging projects. Um, took me a little bit to get those done. Uh, sign up form being one of my favorite projects to do. Um, so after that, uh, I started on the JavaScript path um, in the notes section. Uh, so with the JavaScript path, uh, I complete the library project. And the library project, basically what you're doing with that, you have a little add book button. You're going to click on the add book button. And you're going to have a little form pop up with the title, the author, number of pages, have you read it or not. And then once you click submit, it's going to appear um, in your DOM and also in the array that you created. So after that, the last two steps are going to have you create a red book button um, and a remove button. So with the red book button, you should be able to toggle its status back and forth. You click on it, it'll change it back to red or change it back to unread. And if you click remove, it's going to remove it from the DOM and your array. Um, so, man, those two steps right there took me like nearly two weeks to get that done. It, it was really, really hard. And again... The Discord community is just a great, great resource. Just great people on there willing to help you out, get you unstuck so you can move on. So it felt so good to get that finally done. And since then, or kind of what I'm working on more recently, is a tic-tac-toe project. Uh, that's going to be a separate video. I'm going to make, you know, video kind of what I've been working on with it, things I've been trying, what I want to accomplish, and, you know, some things I'm already stuck on with it. So that'll be its own video. And so yeah, I just want to close out the video saying, you know, it's been a crazy year with the Odin Project. I started back in June. Um, so just want to give my gratitude, my appreciation for finding the Odin Project and its wonderful Discord community. Um, I can't thank them enough. Um, if they didn't have their Discord community, I would probably still be on rock, paper, scissors back in Foundations, no doubt. Uh, so their Discord community is a really good asset. Um, I can't think of enough, and I'm so grateful that I found the Odin Project, and just can't wait to build and learn more. So that's basically it, and stay tuned for my uh, video on Tic-Tac-Toe. I'll be updating what I've been doing with that, and that's basically it. Thank you to the Odin Project, and thank you so much again to their Discord server. Awesome. Take it easy, guys, and stay tuned.